Hello from Gardening at Duenza in Ireland and this is a video of two halves. In the first half I'm going to give you an update on the Grow It For Josh project and tell you who has decided to grow something for Josh and in the second half I'm going to tell you who the winner of the giveaway draw is. In fact we're going to pull it out of a hat. I'm pleased to tell you that 46 people from four different continents so far have decided they want to grow something for Josh. And we're going to feature the first 22 of those today. So these are the people who've sent me through a photograph of the plant that they're growing for my Joshy. And we'll go through them each in detail and then at the end I'll have a little slideshow showing you the different photos of those plants in situ. So the countries that people are growing something for Josh in are, in Europe we've got Ireland, Germany, UK, France, Italy, Netherlands, Moldova, Romania, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland and Belgium. And in North America we have people in the USA, in Africa we have people in South Africa and Zimbabwe, and in Australia we have um, someone in Australia. So if you want to grow something for Josh, please keep those photos coming in and well, I'll update the list as we go. So moving on to the 22 that have sent me through photos and the first person I want to talk about is my own daughter who is growing one of Josh's mini company air plants and she has very few plants in her apartment but she grows this air plant that she bought off of him. And I only water them once a day, but she has actually been watering the Tillandsia argentia twice a day, and I found that hers is doing better than mine. So maybe there's a trick there. So that's Ishtar in Dublin. And the second person, also in Ireland, we're going to list Ireland first, is Fran Maddock in Dublin. And Fran is also growing one of the original air plants that Josh sold as his mint for part of his mini company. But Fa Fran has fashioned a holder for this air plant made out of wood and stone. And in fact, that's Fran's business. He crafts things out of these natural um, materials. And it looks so well at home and so well suited to that holder he's made. You'll see the picture at the end. The next two people in Ireland growing something for Josh are Siobhan Daly, Bulger, who's in Enniscorthy in Wexford, and Siobhan came to my garden last year during the open day and went away with the Tetrapanix Rex. Now Josh particularly liked this plant because its nickname is T-Rex, and Siobhan has said that she's going to grow that plant, plant for Josh. Then we move on to County Limerick, where Martin Begley from Terra Nova Gardens is growing a whopping 12 ferns for Josh over a fairy escape hole. Now Terra Nova Garden in Limerick, it's a fairy garden with lots of little fairy houses and doors and it's a beautiful thing to behold. I'm really delighted that they've kind of, well, I suppose Josh has taken over a mini feature down there in that garden and you'll see the pictures at the end, really fantastic. The fern is a polystichum tagawanum that Martin grew from spores himself. He's a big, um, well, he's mad about ferns. The next plant that's being grown for Josh is by Richard Bunn in Cork, and he's growing a Saracenia. Now, Richard has a large Saracenia collection, and notice this particular one was coming on very nicely with very dark pictures. And even before this project was launched, Richard had decided he was going to grow this plant for Josh and if it did well then perhaps name it for him. So that's that's really good. You'll see the picture at the end. It's a really beautiful plant. Next we have my friend Jackie Kennedy in Dublin, Ireland who's growing a hibiscus bush in her garden for Josh and Josh loved hibiscus. Now Jackie's had this plant for a few years, been a bit neglected she says and now she's going to give it a lot of TLC and try to get it to flower in memory of Josh. The next person who's growing something for Josh in Ireland is Laura Mailer and she's from Greystones in Dublin 
and she's growing Mimulus Cardinalis for Josh. Now, Laura came to my garden open day last summer and Josh and Sam were doing the plant sales there. And she bought this plant from Josh and it's flowered in her garden. So it reminds her of him and she's growing it for Josh. The last person in Ireland is that's growing something for Josh is Michelle Finn from Galway and she's germinated some sick ass seeds. You'll see the photograph of the one that she's dedicating to our Joshi at the end. And now we're moving on to Moldova where Svetlana, who has her own channel, and I put a link to that up above, is growing a Cattleya orchid for Josh. She's in Chisina in Moldova and she's growing Cattleya Dawiana Rosita, so that's the pink form. Now her Cattleya is still a seedling, although a rather large seedling, and this really is um, the queen of Cattleyas, the Dawiana and the pink form is particularly fine. So Svetlana contacted me quite early on. In fact, she was one of the original people that gave me the idea for this campaign. So um, thanks very much, Svetlana. In Germany, the photo I have so far is from Bjorn Mischmal, a good friend of mine. Well, I've never actually met him, but known through YouTube and Bjorn bought some Spanish moss after he saw Josh's mini company video last autumn and has been growing it. Now it started off as quite a small clump of Spanish moss but he waters it once a week by putting it in water for half an hour as Josh recommended and in summer it goes out and hangs on a lilac tree and already it's begun to increase in size so one day he hopes to have a large plant to remind him. Next we have Martin Spiker who's from the Netherlands from Assen in Drenthe in the Netherlands and he's growing a hibiscus, beautiful hibiscus plant for Josh. The photo you'll see at the end. Now Martin is very supportive of my Facebook uh, page, the channel page on Facebook and he grows a variety of vegetable flowers, orchids and carnivorous plants. The hibiscus, hibiscus was bought at a discount but it's doing uh, really well under Martin's tender ministrations. Next we have Fernanda Martins from Peniche in Portugal and she has a beautiful garden where she has several rosemary bushes and one of them she's dedicating to Josh. Rose, Rosmarinus officinalis Severn Seas and Rosemary of course is very good to help people remember. I know my youngest son when he was doing his exams we got him to sniff some Rosemary so that he might recall what he had learnt at some stage, at some stage during the exams. Now we're moving to Spain where Habib Al Mustafi is growing a fantastic cactus for Josh. It's Echinopsis subdendata and it's an offset from a larger plant that Habib's aunt had grown on for six years and the plant produces beautiful clean white flowers with a citrusy scent, really really beautiful. So the photograph shows a, the, another offset because Josh's plant hasn't flowered yet but hopefully it will soon. Also in Spain is Alejandro and Alejandro is growing the most magnificent olive tree for Josh and we have a photograph of this olive tree on Alejandro's balcony it's really quite mature at the base of it there's a terracotta pig and another um, pig planter because well that's what Joshy really loved now olive trees are amazing they can live for hundreds of years and I remember when I was in Madeira last year there were some olive trees there that had been around at the time of the Romans. Not that the Romans had been in Madeira, as was pointed out to me, but the trees had been brought from the mainland and had, well, they were that from that period. They were that old. So leaving Spain behind, we have Henrik, van, Henrik San Andersen from Sweden, from Saxdalen in the county of Dalarna, please excuse me if I'm mispronouncing the Swedish, in Sweden, who's growing a Lituria type Dendrobium for Josh, Dendrobium spectabile aurea Josh, and he's given it the name Josh. 
and you'll see a picture of this plant which hasn't flowered yet but hopefully will flower magnificently in due course so thank you Henrik and now we're moving to the UK where Mary who has a channel and I'm putting a link to Mary's channel up above oh Henrik also has a channel you'll have seen a link going up under the section where I talked about his plant but Mary's um, Mary grows a variety of orchids and she's growing the parent of the golf green hair pig so golf green hair pig harks back to Josh because he loved pinks so pigs so much but the uh, Digbiana parent is the orchid that Mary's growing and you'll see the flowers at the end and hopefully she'll have a flowering we also have Archie Smith who has a, uh, has a YouTube channel as well, and I'll link to that up above. And Archie is growing a yellow hibiscus for Josh. Now, Archie says that hibiscus is also one of his favorite plants. And um, yeah, I mean, I recall very well watching Archie's channel with Josh. Josh was always really impressed with the fact that Archie was so young and yet had done so much. Now we're moving to the United States and the first person there who's grown something for Josh and has sent me through the photograph is Kathy Crosby Day in Florida and she grows a load of Vandas, a very experienced Vanda grower. She has a particular cross which has pink buds at the moment and that's reminding her of a pink pig. So this is the one that I chose to be dedicated to Josh. Um, Kathy actually gave me the choice of two Vandas. And this one, the parentage is Luzonica and um, it's crossed with Cularidae. And um, hopefully this will be a beautiful pink Vanda orchid. Um, next is Olivia Evans, who's in Washington. And Olivia bought an air plant after she saw Josh's video way back in September. And she always thinks of us when she tends to it. So thank you, Olivia. And a picture of that coming at the end. Then the last person in the States is Blanca Acosta, who has a YouTube channel, linking to that up above. And Blanca is in Florida. And she has a story about the air plant that she's growing for Josh. She was at a Phalaenopsis nursery. And she noticed a very unusual air plant mixed in among the Phalaenopsis. It was pinky and silvery and unlike any of the others she'd seen. Anyway, when she came home, she told the story to her husband, how it had reminded her of Josh. And he went back and he bought it for her for a surprise. So Blanca is growing that lovely air plant for Josh. And the last two people I want to mention are, the first one is in South Africa. It's Moira Richards. And Moira, she's not actually growing a plant for Josh, but what she has is a pig scarecrow that she has with her vegetables. And you'll see the photograph of it at the end. But she was asking me, which vegetables should she place this pig scarecrow in front of to scare away the crows? Because, which was Josh's favorite vegetable? And we had a big family discussion. And although Josh was very good and always ate everything that was put in front of him, we think that he didn't particularly have a favourite vegetable, but he loved mashed potato. And he loved that poem about mashed potato and <laughs> loving it more than, more than his mother. Um, so we advised Moira that she should place the pig scarecrow in front of the potatoes if she grows them. So that's nice. And finally, but by no means least, we have Kathy Earsman in Queensland, Australia, who bought a Grevillea coconut ice on my birthday just recent, recently to grow for Josh. And it's a beautiful plant with kind of claw flowers like many of the Australian ones do. And it's red, red, red flowers. And she's planting it in her garden. So big, big thanks to Kathy.
to run into the greenhouse because it's starting to rain outside. But that's fine because this is the second half of the video. And I have Sam here who's going to help me to choose a winner for our international giveaway. And the winner will receive a copy of this super book, The Open Gardens of Ireland, which lists all of the open gardens that there are in Ireland. 427, I believe. Duensa featured among them. And it's a great prize for anybody who's planning on a trip to Ireland and wants to see a few gardens. Okay, so the competition was up on Facebook, oh, sorry, on YouTube for two weeks. And a total of 35 people replied, indicating which of my videos were their favourites. And it was really quite interesting because, you know, there were quite obscure videos that some people had chosen. One guy said he liked my video on growing tea. From, um, from the bush. Goodness, I didn't think anybody remembered that video. And then a lot of people liked the outtakes. And another person said that they'd planted up the Saracenia bed on the back of seeing one of my videos. And somebody else liked the video where I planted tulips with my daughter. So it was really quite interesting. And thank you all for bringing me on a trip down memory lane with all those old videos. Okay, so, um, 35 people entered the draw, and I'm going to put up now a list of those 35 people. So you can see your name is on there and the videos they chose coming now. So we put all these names, we're old school here, we put names into a hat, and Sam, give that a good mix. Now, no picking out your favourites. I have no favourites. <laughs> you have no favourites. We choose Honest Sam to choose the winner because um, there's no bribing him. You can't be bribed with plants anyway, can you? <laughs> okay, go on. Dimitri Von Killer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm kind of laughing here because Dimitri is about the only person in that hat that Sam knows. Okay, Dimitri, you just won the draw. Just open a couple of the others there to show people that. <laughs> so everybody's name is actually in the hat. But Dimitri came and stayed here in Ireland in March and entered the draw. And he has now won the competition. So, yeah. Who's going to get that book? Dimitri. Tell him. Dimitri. You're going to get a book. Okay. All right. Thanks very much for watching. That's all for now. Bye.